Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to click the camera on again and start talking. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing me so much love in the last couple days. In the last two videos, I am like, I'm just blown away at how much love y'all was really showing me. Uh, because I've been getting a lot of negative feedback about my hair when I had my hair. And, you know, people people was like mad disrespectful you feel me i understand people gonna say what they see and how they feel and keep it 100 and some people you know straight talk no chaser cut throat and all of that but it kind of hurt it a little bit only because i feel some type of way with my hair and only because of what i went through if i probably wouldn't have went through anything i probably wouldn't even felt nothing you can say what you want to say but i guess because my hair didn't get damaged by my doing um it, it kind of hurt a little bit more because I was always trying to protect it. And I felt like I had done everything that I could do to keep it. And it wasn't nothing working. So, um... <sighs> I'm just here today to tell you guys thank you and I appreciate you for being patient with me and not rushing me, you know, and allowing me to be myself and allowing me to go through what I had to go through to get back to this point because it was very hard. It was yeah mentally it played a role. I know a lot of people probably like nah that you should have just gone ahead and I had to I had to make sure I was okay in here you know, on the inside before I can go ahead and make a big step. That was a big step for me because you guys know I was trying to hold on to it. Y'all y'all know I was trying to hold on to it, but I knew I had to let it go, but I was trying my best to hold on to it anyway. But even though knowing, knowing I had to let it go because it was my hair was just taking over. You know, you can see now, as you can see, the thickness had was taking over what was left by the what, what cancer took and so um it's just this is just what i have now i know you guys the last time y'all saw my hair yesterday it was straight and all i did y'all honestly was took a shower i took a shower and i got out the shower i didn't have my like a hair scarf on because i wanted to get some of the moisture you know because when i take a shower i usually just don't wear a hair what you call that thing a shower cap and i didn't wear a shower cap in the shower intentionally i wanted to see what was going to happen to you know i just wanted to get some extra moisture in my hair since i had done cut it and everything and when i got out my hair was i was i was feeling it i hadn't looked in the mirror yet i was like oh man now my hair ain't straight no more and it and i looked I, I couldn't see the mirror in the bathroom because it was fogged up because the water was so hot. And when I went in the room and I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, it was kind of big. And I'm like, dang, now I got to wrap it and make it flat again. And then I woke up this morning. I put my butt on, went to sleep last night. I woke up and it was like this. And I was like, oh, okay, really? So my hair just doing the most. Y'all, my hair is tech slacks. By the way, if you guys don't know, this is a result of a fresh tech slacks. I just did my tech slacks. Uh, Sunday. Today is Sunday. I did it last Sunday, the day before I went to the same day I went to Florida. I went to Florida last Sunday. A lot of y'all probably y'all follow me enough. Y'all know I went out of town and I was gone for a few days and now I'm back. But this is the result of me text laxing. You couldn't see the goodness because the goodness was covered up by the, the mess that I had to cut off. And now that I cut it off, I'm on a new hair journey, y'all. Whew, I feel like I'm starting over, but, but I'm happy. I am very pleased with the way my hair is. I don't have to worry about no more stringy ends and all of that. All of them are gone. And look how full my hair is with, I'm only one week post text lax. Um, this is what my hair looks like under um, if you if you guys are not familiar, to be text lax means I have a relaxer in my hair, but it's the process of how I put it in there. How I apply the relaxer is I put it on. I do my whole relaxer process by hand. I don't use no combs, no brushes. I don't do no none of that, and I leave, I don't leave it on there for very long. And I take it off once I get it through. I I can I feel it and see if it's as smooth as I want it and then once I get to that point where I can feel and I know then I rinse it out immediately and and I'm just left with a 
textured type of hairstyle and not a bone straight hair, you know. So I still, the reason why I like to do my hair like that is because I like it to be full and I like it to have some body to it and I don't, I don't like my hair to be flat and uh, bone straight. Um, first of all, because that's a little bit too uh, much for me because I got a big old head and I can't be having like my hair flat, girl. I just... My head already big, and I won't go natural until they stop making a relaxers. Um, because as you can see, my hair right now, text like is this thick. If it was natural, it'd be like, I ain't got time, no way. We ain't gonna even go there, y'all. So, anyways, I'm gonna turn around and show you guys what my hair looks like from the side. All that thinness that y'all was being able to see through. Look, y'all, oh my god, can y'all believe that? Like, I don't know what it looked like in the back. Um, show you under and all of that just oh, I used to have ball spots in there y'all I used to have ball do I still have ball spots <laughs> I'm saying look do I still have ball spots I don't know I'm up here talking about I used to um so I'm gonna go on this side and show you guys what it looks like on the hill like that and how it moves you know it's just whew, I'm actually relieved y'all I'm I'm very 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 happy and I thank all of you guys for um for your support your cameras and all of y'all who held back for my feelings sake thank you Thank you. I really appreciate that because, honey, I was a, I was a crybaby and I didn't want nobody. I, don't, I didn't want to read them comments like, cause I'm like, I don't know if they're coming for me or not. But I know y'all was only a lot of y'all was only telling me what was right, and I, I appreciate that. You know, sometimes you need a little a little roughness, and you know, I don't take things that people say and be like, oh, they just hating. Everybody not hating on you. People, some people just think every time somebody say something negative, it's hate. Now, a lot of times it's the truth. Ninety nine percent of the time, it's the truth. You know, it's a few people that hate, but there's a lot of people that just uh, straight, you know, straight talk. They telling the straight up truth. And, you know, it is what it is, you know. So I don't know what to do with my hair now, y'all. I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I'm going to braid it back up eventually. And we're going to do like a protective style um, thing. I'm going to leave it up to probably the beginning of the year, I believe. I, that's what's on my mind. So I don't know if I should do what's on my mind. Uh, I don't want to keep playing in my hair. Look, I really want to play in my hair because I haven't seen it like this in, oh my God, I don't know how long. And I want to, I just want to play in it because it's just there. But I know planning your hair is not a good thing as well because, you know, the more you manipulate your hair, the more shedding you'll get, the more breakage you'll get. Well, not shedding, but breakage you can get. So I don't want to keep planning it until I reach my length goal. But shoot, at this point, I don't even have a length goal. I just like it like this. I'll walk out the door just like this and be just fine, y'all. <laughs> For real. So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think of my hair. If y'all got any hairstyles y'all think um, that'll look cute on hair like this, um, let me know. Look, I was playing with the little, um, I was playing with this little side here. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep it in the afro for a couple of days and just wear it. And I know you can't, when you got colored folk we can't wear our hair out all the time i know it's something that we like to do but it's not good if you're on a hair growth journey it's not good because your hair is not going to retain length so um i'll just bobby pin that right there y'all um back in the day i used to be natural um I used to be natural and I used to always pull my hair back and I wore a flower in it. My hair was so thick it was just ridiculous. I couldn't handle that no more. So um look I got the baby bow. Put a little flower in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the most. I know. Yeah. So anyways, let me take that. Out. Let me take that. Out. So I am going to go ahead and upload this video, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because I was thinking of doing twist outs and braid outs. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to play in my hair too early until I reach like my, you know, where I want to be with my hair. I do have a gold length. And that was to my boobs. And I did reach that length. But unfortunately, while I was reaching that length, something came and took it away. But I am determined to bounce back and reach my goal again and stay there. Um... By the grace of God, I am going to stay there or get there again. Um, so, 
Y'all, look, hit me up below and tell me if y'all got any hair ideas or anything. Something, girl. Something y'all want to see. Any video ideas, video requests, anything. It ain't even got to be hair related. It can be what I went through related. Mental, whatever. I don't know if I can help you mentally because I still got problems myself. But anyways, child, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. And um, that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.